Hello everyone, back again to today's first video, to Jeremy Friday for today's first video. So as of on Friday, we're having a look at weather for the month ahead with Japanese and CFS V2 miles. It's going to take us pretty much the end of February. We don't quite get to the very end of because we've got an extra day uh, for February uh, this year. But it gets us to the 28th of February, so like the penultimate day. Uh, the meteorological winter 2019-2020, of course, haven't had much winter so far. But uh, there we go. We are uh, drawing to a close for this winter with the uh, week 10 day and uh, also with the uh, month ahead uh, video time frames at the moment uh, of course it's a bit questionable uh, really because um, you can get very wintry weather well into March as we saw in 2013 and also I suppose a couple of years ago with the bees from the east so yes can be very wintry uh, into March but um, meteorologically speaking uh, winter is the first day of December to the last day of February so I'll get on that for you very shortly just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be week 10 day a uh, video update and then um, tonight we've got the first ENSO update for uh, 2020 first ENSO update of the year will be with you probably around seven o'clock this evening. Right, so we're going to start off with the 500 millibar height anomalies from the uh, Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the uh, North Pole of Northern Hemisphere just here. Middle latitudes of Northern Hemisphere are around there. Uh, so blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, red, extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. We can see what the um, GMA is doing for week one. These are broken down into week periods, by the way. So the first week period takes us from today, 31st of January, through to the 7th of February. We can see what the GMA is doing in the weekend. It has an area of below average heights sitting to the north and to the west of the country. It has above average heights sitting to our south. That means that the jet stream and the flow is going something uh, a bit like that. So uh, for northern areas, it's quite unsettled. The south will get some drier weather at time. Generally quite mild, really, I think, for uh, the week ahead as well. Winds are coming in from the Atlantic, so overall it should be a relatively mild uh, week to come. Week two is the 7th to the 14th of February. Uh, so we see above average heights to the north around Greenland and Iceland. Below average heights reaching from the Azores. That's the Azores high, of course, reaching into western parts of Europe. A very strong jet stream coming across the Atlantic indicated by those tight lines. So uh, for northern parts of the country, that could actually be a little bit stormy for northern and western areas due to the strength of the jet stream. But for the south, you would expect a reasonable amount of dry weather with that Azores high reaching in to southern parts of the country. Overall, again, mild or very mild conditions would be expected. And then week three and four takes us from the 14th to 28th of February, almost but not quite, to the end of month and the end of mid geological winter. And this time we see above average heights remain centred almost over top of the country, just perhaps a little bit to the east, below average heights remain out to the northwest. And um, jet stream doing something like that. Quite cold for eastern parts of Europe there, winter's digging into the east of Europe, but for us, close to that ridge of high pressure. And with a ridge centred somewhere like Denmark or northern Germany, I would suspect we have a lot of dry weather on offer, and probably with a big temperature range. So that's the kind of pattern in the second half of February that will probably lead to relatively spring like days quite warm mild days with temperatures into the low to mid teens celsius but by night it can still be quite cold in that kind of pattern probably a greater risk of frost so um big temperature range from uh, day to night with that type of pattern but also pretty dry you would have thought and overall i suspect still coming out rather above average this is the tropical and mid latitude view uh, for week one, so this is the equator uh, just here, and then we've got the northern hemisphere uh, just there. Southern hemisphere is down there. Uh, you can iron in the top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. So, reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height anomaly from the 31st of January today to the 7th of February. Above average heights to our south, below average heights up to the north. We can't see the Arctic um, uh, and the northern latitude view, but uh, not to map view down, we know what's going on. So, there's low pressure all around here and around there as well. Winds should be generally coming from a westerly direction. So, mild and average week to come, substantially so, really. Temperature anomalies there are like 2 to 3 degrees above average, even warmer through most parts of Eurasia, with temperatures 4 degrees or more 
above average, very mild week uh, in the week ahead. Relatively unsettled as well, so slightly above average precipitation uh, for most parts of the country. Um, despite the fact that that ridge is quite close to us to our south and southwest. That's how week two is looking, which is the September 14th of February. Again, the above average heights are to the south and southwest, so below average heights up to the north. Winds are coming in from west to southwesterly. Uh, type direction. Uh, temperature anomalies, excuse me, for uh, the 7th to 14th of February, above average. Mild average week there by around 1 to 2 degrees. And uh, we see that precipitation anomaly. A bit of a north south split, so northern parts got you close to that strong jet stream. Uh, still a bit above average for, for precipitation there. England and Wales, though, uh, drier than average. And then week three and four goes from the 14th through to the 28th of, uh, of um, February. And we find that the above average heights then build pretty much over the top of the country and centre just a little bit to our east, somewhere like uh, Germany, uh, Northern Germany or Denmark. So high pressure is in control. Temperature anomalies are still above average, a little bit less so than um, weeks one and weeks two. Nevertheless, <coughs> excuse me, in weeks three, three and four, we do see the temperature anomaly still a bit above average. Probably quite cold nights being offset by spring-like days. And it's mostly driving average as well, away from the extreme north to northwest of Scotland. Most places are drier than average for that two-weekly period into the second half of February. So overall, not much sign of winter uh, with the JMA for this last month of winter 2019-2020. Let's see what the CFSV2 has to say, though. So again, these are 500 millibar heights, and they're broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes from the 31st of January to the 6th of February. The coming week has the below average heights up to the north and the above average heights are down to our south. We bring in the winds from west or southwest. Looks a little bit changeable, um, especially for northern parts of the country. Some rain will be expected at times and also it looks mild with winds from west southwest. Bit of a change in week two. This was 7th to the 13th of February. I think the... Um, CFS has more influence from the low pressure in the Atlantic in this week. So it's going to actually be quite stormy with low pressure and a strong jet stream coming across the, uh, across the Atlantic. Remember, the uh, CFS also, uh, the JMA I should say, also shows a strong jet stream for this second week of February. But it has that ridge of high pressure um, that the CFS has, like, uh, further south. It has that further north with the JMA. So it's a drier week with the JMA. This would be really quite an unsettled week, I think, maybe even a little bit on the stormy side uh, with the CFS. Let me go through to uh, week three, which is the 14th to the 20th of February. Low pressure, again, remains out to the west and to the northwest. High pressure is to both the south and the southeast. The winds are coming in from a west-southwesterly direction. So once again, <coughs> excuse me once more, once again, that looks quite unsettled with, again, low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic, but it would be mild again. And then we're up to week four, which is the 21st of February to the 27th. The above average heights then centred across central parts of Europe, but exerting an influence into the UK. Low pressure is out to the northwest of jet stream going something like that. So similar to what the JMA is showing actually, high pressure build sort of through central parts of Europe extends that ridge westwards. So again with this, um, it could be very mild actually this, it could be bringing up wind from the south southwest, which would be very mild for late February. If there's like a southeasterly component, which I think there might be, then uh, that would be a little bit colder, you would expect night frost, but also spring-like uh, days. So getting very, very strong, very rapidly, in late February, of course. So when the sun's out, that kind of pattern at the end of February will be quite spring-like by day, but it could lead to some pretty cold and frosty nights, probably. So how temperature anomalies are looking uh, for the 31st January to the 6th February. Overall, above average, a mild and average week coming up. And this goes on into week two as well, which is the 7th 13th of February, that one is also mild now. It's a little bit less over week one, but nevertheless still uh, above average. Week three is the 14th to the 20th of uh, February. That one also 
rather above average. And then week four is 21st, 27th of February, and you guessed it, that one is also coming out uh, with above average temperatures as well. And precipitation, finally, with CFSV2, sober 31st of January to the 6th of February, close to or a little bit above average for precipitation overall. I mean, it's wetter in week two. This could be quite a stormy week, actually, 7th to 13th of February, quite significantly above average precipitation there. Uh, week three, which is the 14th to the 20th of February, that one is also above average for precipitation. And then finally, we get through to week four, which goes close to average, the 21st to the 27th of February. So, uh, overall, there's not much sign of uh, winter there, is there, from uh, either JMA or the CFS. It looks like this exceptionally mild winter is going to carry on pretty much as it has been. The only question is um, how strong the ridges to the south are versus the uh, uh, versus the troughs to the north and the northwest. So it looks like we go through a rather unsettled phase through the first half of the month, and then possibly in the second half of the month we shift to a more anticyclonic situation, which probably leads to relatively mild, or maybe even relatively warm spring-like days uh, in the sort of final week, 10 days of month, but potentially offset a little bit anyway by some colder and frosty nights. There's no sign that Again, this high pressure into the northern latitude. So there's no sign of taking high pressure up to Greenland or Scandinavia or the Arctic. So at the moment, the wait for any sort of blocking continues. And it appears that uh, we just have a continuation of what this very, very mild winter has been doing up to this point. Right, that's it for video number one for today. We'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update uh, later on this afternoon. That will include all regular features. I mean, tonight we've got the latest ENSO update, so come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.